Welcome to the Rusted Garden Homestead. I wanted to do a quick video on buying a shop light to grow indoor transplants for your garden. And I'll answer a couple of questions. There were a lot of them and a few things that will save you a headache. Number one is you want to make sure you buy a shop light that has a cord. Some of these are hardwired into the ceiling, into the existing electrical. You want a plug. It should be about four feet long. Sometimes they're only like a foot. I don't know why. That's rare. But a nice long plug is perfect to get set up. The other thing is, is yes, you are buying a shop light. If you look up garden grow lights or you go to a specialized section of your nursery for garden lights, you're going to pay two or three times more. Basic shop light is all you need. These are white LEDs. White light has all the colors of light that your garden transplants need to grow indoors. You're perfectly fine with white lights. I've been doing this for 20 years. First with fluorescent lights, then LEDs came down in price. Now it's LEDs. Absolutely, you can grow transplants. You're not growing these to flower, to fruit, for full production indoors. Just transplants. They're indoors six weeks to 12 weeks. Just bought this setup at Walmart. It was only $20 with tax, so you can find them there, but go to any lighting section of the big box stores or you know, look for the right aisle in, at Walmart and you'll find shop lights. 5,000 lumens. Lumens is the brightness. So nowadays, 5,000 is not that uncommon. So try and find 5,000 lumens or more. Nice, bright, white light. These go all the way up to 10,000 and past that, really. 5,000 works well. 3,000, 4,000 lumens will work. But if you're shopping for something new, try and find that 5,000. Daylight. So also on here, you want the color of light. That's usually done in Kelvin. This doesn't have a Kelvin rating on there. So you want to find... 4100K to 6500K on the box somewhere. If it doesn't have that, it's going to have the word daylight on there. That is the same range and it's blue, kind of like the sky. So you want daylight or a Kelvin rating of 4100 Kelvin to 6500 Kelvin. That's the perfect setup that will get you exactly what you need to grow indoor transplants. The other one question I get a lot is how much is this going to cost me in the way of electricity? Well, LED lights don't take up a lot of electricity. So right here it's telling you on normal use this costs about $5.42 a year to run this light. It's only going to be a dollar or two a month for this light to be used as a grow light. So for a smaller family you could certainly use one light two flats under there, you're going to be able to grow 40 to 60 transplants. And just think about it, a transplant's, transplant costs about three bucks nowadays. Three times 40 is 120, times 60 is 180. So you're going to save a lot of money by growing your own transplants. I do recommend two lights, so it's a couple of bucks a month in electricity. These are $20 each. 45 years of life. That means this is going to easily last 10 years. Divide that out through 10. That's two bucks a year for the cost of this light. You know, do the math. You're going to save a ton of money by growing your own seed starts, and it's a lot of fun. This is my setup. You don't need something this elaborate. One shelf, two lights is all you really need. These are some of the old fluorescent tubes. They work. You don't need those anymore. They're outdated. Get the LEDs. This is the LED setup. Two tubes on a shop light. That's all you really need. You hang them by simply, you know, putting in the chains, hang them on the shelf that sits above wherever you're starting your seeds. Hundreds of plants can be grown right there. Your shop light is going to come with chains and S-hooks. You just put the S-hook in here, attach the chain, and you can hang the light wherever you want. The shop lights usually come with two strips of lights. That's what you want. I will put some links in the video description if you want to check those lights out. I don't recommend anything specifically. Just kind of take the information that I'm talking about and use that to buy your, your shop lights. But you want two rows of lights. You'll see sometimes you can buy a four foot strip of a single tube of LEDs. Sounds a little bit confusing, but it just looks just like this. It's just a single strip all the way down, no hood, no light next to it. I don't really recommend those. I like the hood to reflect the light down. I like two lights here. So I would really stick with the shop light versus a single 
four foot strip of an LED light. Let me plug this in. It's plenty bright enough for starting seeds indoors, for growing your own transplants. And again, if you're just buying the shop lights, they're going to be much more uh, reasonable price wise than if you're buying, you know, specialized grow lights. If you want to follow me, I'll be doing a whole seed starting series for 2022 on seed starting on a budget for about a family of four. So you only need really one or two lights to grow seed starts for a family of four. Thanks for watching. Please check out my seed shop at therustedgarden.com and I would definitely give seed starting a try. It's a lot of fun and you will save money.